coaches around the league have been talking about uh, how much better they are. I think our fans had a chance to witness it. And, you know, you, you, you can talk about it and talk about it all you want to talk about it going into the game, about how tough it's going to be, how they outplayed us in the second half over Tulane. Uh, I thought they outplayed us again tonight. Um, we, we, uh, we, had, we played a good half, the second half. You have Julian, uh, great credit. We made a switch and put Julian on Timmons in the second half. He had one point. He had 16 in the first half. And that was a big difference. Uh, they shot for percentage in the first half, uh, 54 or 57 percent. In the second half, uh, shot 33 percent. They were 9 for 27. Uh, we became more selective. As a result, we shot for a better percentage. We got quality minutes out of Mike Pettis in the first half, Ike Gordon in the second half, and Jeremy and Gabe both had four fouls. Uh, I thought Bo Hannon played the best he's played in Conference USA because he was he didn't make negative plays tonight. You know, the big turnovers, poor shots, uh, tried to rebound it, finished, and really, really played well. You give him credit. Uh, we're a, a team that uh, will take the win any way we can get it. Uh, Again, I think it was a result of half-court team defense in the second half. Um, Julian's 10 defensive rebounds uh, were a big, big factor as well. Uh, you know, we're, uh, we're getting, uh, getting to the point in the season where everybody's seen each other once, and they're going to guard you a little better than they did the first time, unless you beat them pretty bad the first time and you, and you can't get yourself quite right and ready to play. And, uh, and I think that we had a little bit of that going on in the first half. They were counting the seams on the ball every time they caught it, looking at it. It's the reason why they, they shot it so well. They drove it by us, uh, got it to the rim. Our, our help was late. Uh, they had kicks, dumps, handoffs to the big guys. But that didn't happen in the second half to our guys' credit. I mean, I think they, they get it, and it's, it's a result of being a mature team that, that understands, uh, you know, what, what they've got to do to go play. Christian Polk, I thought, was solid all night long. Uh, paying attention to his six assists, which were uh, really big late. He had a couple big dump-offs to Bohannon, made a couple big shots for us. But, uh, you know, the six assist is where he's got to continue to be uh, an improved player for our team. Um, you know, other than that, that's, that's, that's what I saw. You all have any questions? How big was your bench today, then? Well, I thought it was really big. You know, Pettis uh, gave guys blow in the first half and made two big baskets for us. Uh, really big baskets when we were laboring to score. Uh, Isaac Gordon, uh, when we get Gabe and Jeremy down with four fouls, um, you know, uh, just played solid without mistakes. The game doesn't get worse when he goes in, which is important. And Bohannon off the bench tonight was a big plus. So we, we got some really solid, really solid bench play. Anything else, guys? Coach, uh... What are you looking for for Saturday, though? Looking Saturday at Tulsa. Um, I understand they got beaten at one pointer tonight uh, by an SMU team that's uh, playing as well as anybody in the league right now. They're, uh, they're a team that had us down 10 in the first half here. Uh, we played uh, up to that time, I'd say Michigan and Tulsa were our two best defensive efforts of the season to that point in the season. And we're going to have to play that hard over there at their place. Um, you know, it's a, it's a team that uh, can beat anybody in our league. It's not going to surprise me if they don't win the Western Division in our league. And uh, uh, it, it will be a, a very difficult road game.